Jake and Joe here. We are heading towards the summit of Whiteface Mountain in New York, Lake Placid. We have an absolutely gorgeous view with blue skies, light clouds. Really not too cold, even though it sounds windy. And uh, we got some ice crystals developing here. Jake, how would you rate it out of 10 for how cold it is? Uh, probably a seven. Probably a good seven for how cold A little bit of wind, but we're talking grip. We're talking good snow. We're talking full summit access, early season. <laughs> it's absolutely insane. See, like every now and then you get hit with a little bit of that wind. But, well, uh, the good thing here is Lake Placid and Summit and my face here don't believe in wind holds. So they run the lifts all day long, no matter what the winds. The only time they shut the lifts off is when the emergency override is hit. And that only happens in like 75 plus mile an hour winds. 75 plus. Yeah, I heard 80, 85 from one local. We got 35 easy right now. Yeah, we're a long ways away from 75, so so we think they're gonna be spinning this lift all day long. We're feeling a little intimidated today. I'm feeling a little nervous. I think I'm just gonna run back down. I'm gonna say the wind's kicking off a little bit. Look at that view though. Check that out. Sir. We have two perspectives for your viewing pleasure. All right, we're gonna play them back to back. Yeah, we're actually gonna have them side to side. We're gonna get it side by side. All right, we had to armor up because it's really belly sided. Jake is braving it. How's your chin, buddy? Is it cold? What? <laughs> How are you feeling? All right, and we're all the sun. So Whiteface's summit, fun fact, is 4,800 feet. So currently we are about midway where the low altitude clouds are. You can see there's some high altitude clouds up there. With this low hanging level, we are somewhat even with. Gives it a pretty nice effect. Skiing above the clouds, almost. Looks like they might be rolling into this valley. You are watching a cloud roll into a valley live. You can literally see it is getting hazier <laughs> as this cloud goes over this mountain right into the lower altitudes. Absolutely gorgeous. We can see another lake further off in the distance. Now half the reason you do this is for the nature. Half of it is for the sport, the exercise, but the other half has got to be nature. Look at this. With the proper gear and equipment, not cold, protected from the elements. You get to have fun outside, right Jake? Yes. Whatever he said, I approve. There it is. name and how you got into this business. Yeah, so I'm fresh out of college. It's really my first time. Yeah. yeah I think this trail's open. I don't, I don't think Skyward's open yet. My favorite trail over Skyward. Yo! Snow making equipment. Wow. Where, where's the ice patch? Oh yeah, Yo, you're right. Where's the giant ice patch? Oh. It's normally like right about here. I think 250 new snow guns to their arsenal. That being one of them, there would always be an ice patch right here. Always be an ice patch. All right, let's see. Pretty far away.
trails. Woohoo! Oh, a little speed, speed mitigation. You could definitely get some get some speed on this mountain. This is one you don't play around with. Right, guys so we are fresh off the gondola here this is what i would call mid mountain and we met up with our friends matt and his friend connor we're all out here we're gondola brothers i do not believe we are heading to summit i think we're just heading right to the base so right off the gondola you kind of got this little 
beginner part, you know, it's probably a green. You can see some people coming off the summit. And it's kind of gonna drop right in, get to some steeper stuff. Conditions are pretty decent. Nice little jumpy jump. Try to get another. It's Victoria. You can get insane, insane speed. I, mean, I don't even want to push it because there's people. back to the van soon. Woo! Possibly grab some beers with our new friends. Just absolute gorgeous views. A good 15 to 20 degree difference. So skiing, I guess I'll talk about it. You know, you could do pizza french fry when you're just starting off, but the real goal of skiing is to get your weight from your left to your right foot and alternate between left and right. You can keep it straight, which is the beauty of skis. You can't really do that on a, on a snowboard. So right now I'm on my right ski, it's turning me left. Now left, left leg turns me right. It's kind of the opposite. So we'll go straight. If I go on my left leg, so I put some pressure, that inner edge bites, and I go this way, I went to the right. Now if I'm going straight and I put pressure on this right leg, that inner edge bites again and it makes me go left. Oh, this is nice and soft. Let's see if we can spray him. Nope. Oh, hold on, that rail kind of hurt. Oh, you fell on it? I went, I landed 50, like my board started going, started bouncing out, and I caught an edge. Oh. Right on the end of it too. Oh. I told myself I was gonna buy food and beer here today, but yeah, here I am. Buying fucking food and beer. I'm patient. Yeah dude, those are like six thousand dollars keys. Put it, leave a note with your insurance info.
Welcome back, folks. The sky is blue. The temperature is nice. What more could you guys Got a beautiful mountain. Good skiing. So we're waiting on that. This is the summit lift, summit quad. It goes most of the way up. If you actually want to access the slides, which is those four to five trails on the right side of this lift, you have to actually hike about 250 feet to the right, so. Yeah, I was going to say, I, put the heel up, snap, I didn't even forward. realize you were a snowboarder for a second, how quick that was. I can put this on just about as fast as someone can put a set of skis. Yeah, seriously. We go to that one on the far right, you know, instead of going over this way, yeah, take that loop around. Yeah, I'd take that. Give you a little more of a ride. Yeah, I'll do that. Going on, guys. Back in the van. We have some sausages going. But I mean, there's just tons of stars. And not only did we see a few shooting stars. Good morning. 